much. U.S. Open, it's not going to be the same, is no, it? No, it sure isn't. Quite a different makeup for the U.S. Open. We'll tell you about what happened. Uh, it's definitely a way from separating the boys from the men. Find out who did not make the cut coming up. And a middleweight title fight is set for tomorrow. Who will take home the belt? Sports is next. Welcome back. I'm Justin Cooper. The 106 United States Open Championship is all wrapped up for day two, which is cut day. And you may be surprised at who won't be playing this weekend. Phil Mickelson looking for his fourth major title. Long putt for birdie here. One of the few that he had drops it in. He's in the hunt at three over for the tourney. As for Tiger Woods, well, this was an indication of how his day went. On the 16th, the ball goes off the tree and 50 yards to the left into the gallery. Finished at six over on the day, 12 over for the open. Missed the cut for the first time ever in a major. It's a string of 39 majors. He talks about the tough course and why he struggled today. Uh, didn't execute properly today. I didn't, uh, I didn't drive the ball all that great. Didn't hit my irons well. And I didn't have the speed again. So um, not a good combo. I was playing hard. I was playing really hard, Tommy. I mean, the golf course is very difficult and you know the wind's up now just like it was yesterday afternoon and you know marginal shots are just going to get killed here a couple other notables that missed the cut chad campbell from unlv and the defending champion from last year michael campbell it leaders right now only one player under par that's steve stricker colin montgomery right behind him jeff ogilvy right behind him with kenneth ferry jim Furyk in there at two over other notables phil mickelson just a couple of shots back vj singh david duvall had one of the low rounds of the day at 68 he's only five over on the tournament charlie hoffman former unlv player at six over craig barlow henderson resident at seven over skip kendall adam scott both unlv players at eight over u.s world cup soccer team getting ready for its second game tomorrow at 11 30 local time against italy as for today's action, three more teams look to advance to the round of 16. We take a look at the scores here. Mexico and Angola all nodded at nil. Argentina 6-0 over Serbia Montenegro. And the Netherlands over the Ivory Coast 2-2-1. The NBA has suspended Jerry Stackhouse of the Dallas Mavericks for one game after last night's mowdown of Shaquille O'Neal. A flagrant foul in the third was part of the Mavs' hack-a-shack strategy, which backfired since Shaq made both of his free throws. Stackhouse will have to miss game five, which is Sunday in Miami. Interleague play once again taking place on the Diamonds this weekend, and the American League really running things. Motown visiting the Windy City. Tigers up 3-0 on the Cubs. Curtis Granderson loops one of the Ivy. That will score Chris Shelton. Granderson with the triple. Top of six now, Tigers pitcher Nate Robertson looking for career hit number one. Not if Juan Pierre can help it. Cubbies can't hang on, though, as Rock City triumphs 5-3. to three. Other scores from interleague play, as I said, American League was up 11-3 today. Twins over the Pirates 4-2. Yankees over the Nationals 7-5. Devil Rays 10-4. Orioles 6-3 over the Mets. White Sox and Red Sox both winners tonight. Marlins uh, over the Blue Jays. Cards over the Rockies in the one National League game. Other games for you, Brewers over the Indians. Royals over the Astros. Astros. It was the A's over the Dodgers. The Padres beat the Angels. Mariners over the Giants, even though Barry Bonds hit his 718th home run. And the Rangers over the Diamondbacks, 5-3. With 75 wins between them, the two of them, the tomorrow night's middleweight championship, looks to go the distance. Winky Wright and Jermaine Taylor weighed in earlier tonight. Wright came in at 159.2. Taylor logged an even 160. The fight is at 630 tomorrow night in Memphis. And here's what Lem Banker thinks. He thinks that Winky Wright wins in a decision over Jermaine Taylor. We'll have more for you coming up in just a few minutes. Stay with us.